Okay, today is uh, November 17, 2023. This is Antonio Montalvan, writer of Vera Files. And uh, I am here uh, to interview Mr. Arturo Lascaña. Sir, I have some questions for you, if you yes. don't mind. Yes, sir. First Red question, up. sir, is uh, Edgar Matobato mentioned... Superman really owned a Shabu laboratory. Do you confirm that? That's correct. Uh, That's correct. Do you know the exact location? Have you seen the laboratories yourself? I have seen the uh, the Domoy Shabu laboratory for several times because I was uh, instructed by Mayor Duterte before with Sunny Bilbintura to escort uh, an alleged Cannes Peace Factory delivered to the Toril Peace Port Complex. The Cannes Fish Factory? The Cannes Peace Factory allegedly for export to Malaysia, but it was all a Shapuk laboratory. Were you able to go inside? Not exactly that was, I was able to go inside, but I was see Michael Young outside when we talk about uh, the extortion of the traffic police in the Toril area in, the, in their uh, panel delivered to the uh, Toril Peaceport. We delivered to the Toril Peaceport more than three times. I see. It was, it was all, it was all drugs. It, all drugs? Shabu. And One person told me, the owner of the uh, shipping plate that was rented by uh, Charlie Tan, Mr. Cascabel, I do not know his first name. He said, Tor, this is from the drug shop laboratory of Dr. T. Very sensitive. So the shabu came from the canned fish factory and it was... Uh, yeah. and and uh, it was sent to the the police the 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 disguise it as a can peace factory but it is a shabu factory i see that's why i do 30 ordered us me and wilkins Villanueva, to kill all the workers in the chemists of the Davao shabu laboratory And I can pinpoint even up to now where I buried their bodies. So, to inform all humanity, not only in the southern Philippines, in Mindanao, or in the part of Davao City, Duterte is the Lord of all the drug lords in the southern Philippines. He is the most dangerous person in the southern hemisphere. You must know it, Filipinos, rise up. And, and this canned fish factory in Toril, was it the only Shabu laboratory in all Davao City? No, there is another Shabu laboratory. It was in Barangay Obrero. Barangay Obrero? Yes. That's what I know. Barangay Obrero in Dumoy, Toril. Okay. That's it. So, and there the, are two? There are two. Shabu Laboratories. Who, who owned the... Who operated the one in Obrero? My, in Obrero, it was Michael Young. Also Michael Young? Yes. The same with the canned fish factory? Yes, Michael Young and Charlie Tan. Charlie Tan, okay. Yes. And, and you stand by this knowledge, sir? This is not just rumor or chismes. I stand it. Personally, I will. I am very much uh, prepared to peace them, peace to peace. Because I am a Filipino, I have to defend my country. Not this kind of criminals, especially Lutheran. I will fight them until the last of my breath. Okay. And uh, 
Superman was aware of this, of course. The presence of, of these laboratories. Superman is aware of this. For the fact that he has a dragon tattoo at his back because he is Superman. That is my that is my evidence on him. And uh, why was why was Michael Young close to Superman? Remember, sir, when uh, Superman became president? Yeah. He appointed Michael Young as a presidential yeah. advisor, even though Michael Young is not Filipino, yeah. he's Chinese. Because of Sami Ui. Because of Sami Ui. Sami Ui. Okay, yeah. ca ca uh, can you expound a little bit who is Sami Ui? He, he, I yeah. know he is a known uh, businessman in Davao City. Sami Ui. Sami Ui is one of the responsible person why Michael Young entered Davao City with his Shabu Kimis. He established the, 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 the DCLA as a front. As a front. Uh, what business is this, sir? DCLA. And this is owned by Sami Ui? Ma Ma Michael Young. Michael Young. And okay. the building, the bu part of the building was owned by Mike, my Sami Ui. Part of the building of the DCLA was owned by Sami Ui. Sir, uh, in your affidavit, you called Sami Ui the gambling and shabu mafia of Davao City. That's correct. Why, why did you call him that? Siya ang, siya ang uh, pinaka-financer sa mga last two. Last two? Ah, okay. Last two operation. Okay. And, and itong Kailo nga sugal. Ah, yes. And uh, Superman was aware of, of that? All of that? Not only aware. Superman was a part of it. Wow, these are explosive information, sir. Okay. And one challenge to, to Superman, if he was, uh, if he was telling the truth, and and uh, against against my words, why not pay me piece to piece in the ICC? Mm -hmm. He's a lawyer. Yes. I, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just an investigator, but I can confront him. I can prove my case. Although you finished law. Though so. I finished law. That's it. I will uh, challenge uh, Rudy, my friend. I'm sorry. But I have to defend our country. Not you. I'm not so sure if uh, this appeared in your affidavit or in Matobatos, but I think at one time, ah, in your affidavit, sir. At one time, you did not follow an order to kill. Yes, yes. Because the one that he wanted killed was Father Pete Lamata. Yes. Why, why did he want to kill Father Lamata? Wanted to kill Father Pete Lamata because Lamata, during his uh, homily, always attacked Duterte. In his homily? In his homily. And Duterte wanted me to shoot Lamata. Mm. I said, Mayor Duterte, no, no, we will use knife. And he said, make it pastel Arthur. That is one million. Padre Pit Lamata, including Kibuloy, will pay another one million. That is true. That is true. That's why I daily dally the order mm -hmm. with uh, Jim Tan. I did not follow the order. I did not follow the order, but Sunny gave me 200,000 as operational fund. But the funding for me, for, against Father Lamata, for me, for 1 million, and for Kiboloy is 1 million. So you dilly dallied and, uh, until you never got to kill Father Lamata, no? Yes, until uh, the time when Lilo, because it was a uh, the aftermath of the election. Ah, yes. Yes. Yeah, I've heard of this, that uh, Duterte was very angry at Father Pete Lamata. Usually, sir, he gets angry at people when these people criticize him, no? I think that's the same thing that happened with uh, uh, June Pala. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, another question. 
Were you at La Quarry when Leila de Lima and her investigators from the Commission on Human Rights uh, went there? Uh, were you aware that Duterte wanted de Lima assassinated right there and then in La Quarry? Well, uh, the truth of the fact is that uh, I was not there. But I was not the plan because we, Duterte and me, and I've been out in uh, SPO for Sunny Bilintura. Uh, talk about this uh, the dilemma assassination but not ambush because being out doesn't, doesn't agree that uh, Senator or Commissioner Dilemma will be ambushed in his property mm-hmm. because the, the main suspect at that time it could be loud being loud in our group okay. but the other option of uh, Sunny Bilabentura is to kill Dilemma through a sniper Okay, okay. Can you tell us about that, sir? What was the plan? Yes, the plan is to uh, kill Delima. I think somewhere in Bahada or Insular Hotel. Okay, Insular Hotel, okay. something like that. But uh, it was uh, not materialized because of the trees of the Insular Hotel. Many trees. So you, you were part of the meeting that planned. Yes, yes, at the. At the residence of Mayor Duterte, in fact, Mayor Duterte cooked a sausage, a sausage for our, for our lunch. What happened, sir? How come the assassination did not materialize? Did not materialize because of the area. In Insular? In Insular. And there's so many security monitoring there. I see. I see. But the... In the uh... The desire to kill Senator um, CHR Commissioner De Lima came from Superman himself. Himself, himself. I was being called by Superman into his residence. Me in SPO Paul Sane Binabintura in SPO Paul Binbaud. But Binbaud refused the ambush. Why? Because the people were put with Binbaud as the mastermind. And it will reach Duterte at that moment. I, I told I told Duterte, this is crazy idea, sir. Why not use your rifle? Rifle? Rifle. Sniper rifle. Ah, sniper rifle. Okay. So the, the man who take the idea who will conduct the sniping on uh, Commission of the Lima is Sunny Bilibintura. Wow, that's a new story, sir, because the one that came out in the media was more about the Laud Quarry because yeah. it came from Matobato. Yes. Because I think Matobato, Matobato he was in Laud Quarry at it, the time. In Laud Quarry at that time. At the he, was, oh, yes. he was being uh, prepared to be used at that time. Prepared to be used. Yes. I see. So then that corroborates what he said, no? So let's focus on Aldong Parohino. My question is, why did Superman order the killing of Aldong Parohino of Osami City when Superman was already president? A lot of people are asking that, no? And uh, many, many believe that it's not only because Aldong Parohino was involved in drugs. Was there a drug relationship between the two? Yes. That we do not know? Can you tell us? Yes. It was... Uh... It was uh, Mayor Duterte and Mayor Adolfo Hino when they met, including Captain Makasait. At the time, when I was uh, the personal escort of Captain Makasait, why Adolfo Hino was assassinated, including his family? Yes, why? Because Adolfo Hino knows so much of Duterte, of the drug trade of Duterte. Of the drug trade? Of Duterte. Especially the brother of Michael Young in Cagayan de Oro City. And one thing, meron pang gusto ng ipapatay si Mayor Duterte kay Aldo Palohino na Mayor sa Misamis Occidental na limutan ko lang ang pangalan pero hindi pinatay ni Aldo. Ah. Isa yun nagkalit na siya doon si Duterte dahil ito palang taong ito ay Pilipino U.S. citizen pero working with the U.S. DAA. Oh, I see, I see. Sunog na si Duterte sa tinuod lang 
sa US Drug Enforcement Agency. Digong, sunog ka na. It was Superman who wanted this mayor killed. And Kill. he asked Paruhino to kill. kill. But it did not happen. It did not happen. That's why he killed Paruhino, including his wife. Because they knew. They knew. They knew. They knew so much. So, uh, a lot of people, sir, in the Philippines are thinking that Uh, it was uh, one reason why he had Paruhino killed also was because uh, in order to contain the drug trade, because he considered also the drug trade of Paruhino as a competitor. competitor. Yes. Okay, going back now to Laud Quarry. What happened in that incident in Laud Quarry when the, there was a rape of drug pushers? You said that the The death squad killers themselves were asked by Duterte to rape? Yes. Did I hear yeah. you correctly on that? Yes, I witnessed it. You witnessed it? I, I uh, yeah, not only hear it, Duterte instructed to rape these uh, suspected female drug uh, users, but also we were required, we were required to be an audience during the The, during the rape? During the rape investigation or investigation with rape. So, who raped? Who did the raping? Well, uh, uh, mostly, uh, mostly it, uh, your colleagues? Ma- ma- no, no. Uh, they were uh, civilian. Civilian assets. From, civilian uh, assets, okay. From Agdao, rebel returnees. And they were present during that investigation in Laud Quarry? Yes. And uh, Superman was also there? Superman was also there. Yes, he was. He was there. So he was a spectator to the rape? A spectator. We, we were the spectator we was, because uh, we were required by Superman to witness that after the rape, kill the victim. 